sorry i'm whispering but i'm in my school and i've never done this before so it's a little awkward but i am finally in my school i'm actually this is actually day two sorry i'm holding this if it's a little shaky i have no idea where my tripod is so <laughs> this is actually day two i literally had no time in my classroom yesterday i came in with my niece we dumped the stuff in the room and then i had meetings and tra uh, trainings like mostly meetings the entire day so i didn't really get to prep or do anything so i came in early today the earliest i could get into the school was seven o'clock and it is about seven ten now so I'm gonna insert a clip of what my classroom's current state is, what the mess looks like, and what I need to do. Um, looking around, I really need to take this big furniture off because we were told we can't have any carpet. So those rugs and things that I got, no bueno, which is fine. We can't have any carpet. Our desks need to be three um, three feet apart which is like because we have like the square tile floors like three squares apart um, we have to have indicators on the floor to show kids the flow of traffic when they get up and stuff um, and then they said because of the way that we have to set up our room most likely we aren't going to be able to fit like the traditional teacher desk all these other desks um, storage type desks that we have and our kidney table or you table so I'm gonna have to get the, those out of here just so that I can um, create my layout of my desk and once I have the layout of my desk I think that's gonna be like really the hardest part for me trying to figure that out um, and I can always tweak it later but once I have that I can start on my walls and stuff so my main objective today is to get this big furniture out so that I can get in these desks. And then after school, if I get that done right now, because I'm sure our first meeting is probably like at 8.30, and if I can get all that big furniture out this morning, after school, I can um, work on weaving through the things that the last teacher left behind. Um, and a lot of the old curriculum that needs to go out of this room. We are purging, okay? We need to purge. But I'm so excited to be here. Everyone's so nice. I absolutely love my principal. I love my team. I'm, I'm really excited for this year. So stay tuned. Okay, I hope you didn't miss me too much. Okay, so what I plan on doing now is my U table over there that's under all my stuff. I plan on getting that out first because that's the most awkward thing and I don't know hopefully I don't scratch up my floors <laughs> I'm sure there's like a method I probably should like put it on something and slide it but we gangsta out here so I'm just gonna take it move my stuff and moving on out <laughs> stop it'd be very helpful if I had it I got that big U table out. Now I'm gonna try to move a few of these like they're like they're like tables with storage under it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna try to rearrange the desk first just to see how much space I have. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to organize 
the clutter that I brought in here or like push it to the side so that I can and move those big desks to the side so I can see what all I need to move out of here. Okay. I can put you guys. furniture out of here which I did at no time I'm a little pressed but I'm going to try to rearrange my desk I still have one of those big green desks right here and then like my teacher desk is right here but I want my teacher desk to go to the other side of the room and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this green one yet maybe see if it can fit over there where that space is Hmm, it might be too long. But I don't know. Literally don't know. We'll see. I'm like sweating. So, let's see if I can move the desk out the way and move my teacher desk across the room. <laughs> space out these chairs in a way that makes sense. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
harder than you think. And I'm even trying to think of how the other teacher arranged it. And I feel like I'm trying to arrange it the same way and it doesn't work. it has to look like this where it's like two people are facing the front then one's facing the side but the, the logic behind that is because where they're going to be looking the ones turn to the side um where i'm working on the board the most they don't really have to turn to their neighbor and breathe on their neighbor's neck and so that's why it's that way that's what the other teacher did she's been here for a million years so i'm gonna trust her and if it doesn't work we'll fix it later then we have like two extra desks. We're only supposed to have 25 kids. We have 27 desks. So I don't know what the, where those desks are supposed to go right now, but they're just gonna stay there. Um, only have like 15 minutes before I have to go downstairs. So I think I might just cool off because I'm sweating. I am thinking I'm gonna cool off. And if I do anything, it'll probably be just like either chairs or moving my stuff to the area in the room where I'm going to be unloading so that I don't have to like cross the room a hundred times. Okay y'all, it's about 3.42. Everyone started leaving at 3.30. Like I didn't realize how many people left right on time. <laughs> I'm not one of those people even though I am super exhausted. I actually did a lot off camera. So from where I last cut off, we had um, a few meetings and things, and then we broke out around 11.30. We broke out early for lunch, and I got to be in my room from 11.30 on until now. So I just did a lot as fast as I could. Also, people just kept coming in and out of the classroom, and I just, I don't know, I didn't want to be recording, stop, recording, stop, or have to edit all that out. So... I just went ahead and did some things. I'll show you what I did. So as we first walk into the classroom, I set, I put the two dustpans under there. I put like the dustpan and broom that I have over there and these two bins. And this is gonna be my sanitation station. We have to have one right by the door for kids to pump sanitizer in and out um, when they leave and come back out of the room. We do have something on the wall here, but I figure I'm gonna put my sanitation station here add some packets of tissues if kids need it because they're gonna have to have individual packets um so when they bring them i'm just gonna have a bin of those and if kids absolutely need a tissue then they can have um a pack of tissues i just hang my calendar there because i realized it was already hooked up there um all against this wall is either trash 
for things I need to bring downstairs because it's old curriculum and they said to line them up in the gym. All that is trash, but obviously I can't put it in those two little bins, nor would I put it on a custodian to throw all that away. So I'm gonna um, eventually divide it up. I have a trash bag here. Um, I'm throwing that whole gray bin away and I have like three other gray bins I need to throw away. So I'm gonna get a big cart and just move them out to the dumpster outside. I bought my three wheel thing over here. Um, I know this is on a gangster lean right now. Don't worry about that. <laughs> the bottom, one of the bottom legs is loose. Sorry to bell. One of the bottom legs is loose if it didn't already fall off yet. But I have the screw. It's in my wallet. I just, that is the least of my concerns. I just threw some stuff on my desk um, that I know is going to go over here. The air conditioner. And then all of this is library. So either like my library stuff, my personal library stuff, stuff that was already here. And I moved these two cabinets over here because they were in the front by the boards and I'm just I just tried to like move things to the area um in the room where I know I'm going to organize it later where it belongs I completely cleared out this closet that fan was on top of the closet I took that stuff off and I have a fan down here and as you see it is literally so gross so I hung my hangers there, but I'm not putting anything else in here until I come back with like a power cleaner. <laughs> I also wanted to wipe down these shelves too. That's um, pencil sharpener shavings I spilled. But I'll come back and once I'm ready to finalize my uh, decorations and cabinets and stuff, that's when I'll and get cuter bins because these are bins that were here those two are mine they're just like mismatched but once i get cuter bins then i'll wipe down the cabinet and organize separate out like the hundreds tens and ones i'm not going to all keep them in there together separate that out but so far it's a pretty decent organization system that's money and those are calculators So this is gonna be my math closet. If I feel like it, if I have the energy and the time, maybe I'll put some vinyl outside of that to make it look cute. This bookshelf, this taller bookshelf here is empty. I plan on using this for the curriculum that we're about to get. So our new science curriculum materials can go there. Or maybe if there's like guided reading things that I wanna access quickly, that can go there. So I'm keeping that up for grabs right now. I usually use big tins like this that the math manipulatives come in. I usually use those for indoor recess materials, so I might end up transferring those in there and getting more individual um, indoor recess materials. Because as you can see, by how I set up my desks, Sorry, I'm not going quick. Let me go to the front of your room. As you can see by how I set up the desk, um, all kids have to be separated. There can't be groups. They have to have their own materials. So I'm going to end up getting more indoor recess materials that they can do by themselves, like the coloring sheets, individual Play-Doh, things of that nature, and then maybe put them in, I don't know, Ziploc bags with their names on it and throw it in that big tub have my paper out there and some stuff I'm gonna decorate the board with. There's another tub down there. And all this on the top here, like the black and white science materials is trash. And all of these tins or these clear containers just like this needs to go down to the gym, but I cannot get up there. <laughs> my chair cannot lift those, um, cannot, lift me high enough, nor do I want to just stand on the chair to get those heavy things down. So I'm going to request assistance for that. And that is going to go away as well. And yeah, that is basically all I have. I think I'm going to put my class jobs here. Because like I said, there's like a lot more walls um, and boards that I need to have up now. So, which is fine. 
I'm just gonna really have to utilize this wall space back here and like these little wall spaces. I can't, I can't do on the, the curtain or on the shades, I can't. It already looks ugly with the tape on there. Like I should just to cover it up, but I can't. Plus I like my shades up, even though we're gonna be looking in someone's house, I don't know. But at least up that far, just to let the natural sunlight in. So that's what it's looking like right now. There's my stuff over there. Ooh, it's a lot, it's messy. So far I'm not feeling overwhelmed because I did a lot for it to be day two. So I'm not feeling overwhelmed yet. And then these boxes are actually my Donors Choose project. So I'm gonna go get my tripod so you can watch me open those up and see what goodies we have. Okay, let's see what goodies I have from Donors Choose. I'm so excited. Well, I kinda already peeked at this one. Oops. So in this one, I have my clear pocket sleeves that I'm gonna use for uh, oh, they have rings in it. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if it's that for each color. Anyway, I'm gonna use this as um, like whiteboards for the students, slip a sheet of paper in there, maybe even slip in like an interactive worksheet or something like that that we can use um, dry erase markers for. What is that? I got some better than paper mounting tape. Because as you saw, we have those type of walls that don't really let things stick when it gets humid out. So I wanted to get stuff that's really durable. Let's see. I'm going to start with the small stuff. Erasers, more erasers, some more magnets, and these are the kind that clip. Ah, more magnets. I hang a lot of things on the walls and or on my board, especially anchor charts when we're doing them together, because that's the only space I have. You can't use a tripod, we don't have a carpet. So I need to make sure those magnets hang up and some um, claim to be super strong and they're not, so I'm going to try a variety of magnets, but either way, they're all going to get used. And the classic big old box of pre-sharpened pencils. And I think this has like, 200 pencils, 150 pencils. And this year, um, my school doesn't provide any of these materials. So it's on the um, supply list. Whereas my last school provided a lot of things and it was on the supply list. But this school doesn't provide a lot of stuff. So you have to come out of pocket to get whatever the kids don't bring in. So I'm super glad I ordered even more pencils because with kids having to have their own supplies, I don't even know what sharpening pencils is gonna look like. Do I have to sanitize them? Like when they go into the dull bin, do I have to spray them all, sharpen them myself? Which is fine, I sharpen most of the pencils myself anyway, even though it's a job, but I don't know. We'll see how that looks like. That's the brainstorm. Ooh, here I have, these are like, heavy duty command hooks, okay? And this is two of them. Yeah, I like this, I like this. Um, I originally was gonna hang um, curtains with this, or um, if I have a whole lot of anchor charts that I need to keep up, I might put rings around them and hang them up this way. But you need you a set of like the heavy, like these have some weight to it, all right? The heavy duty command hooks. These I will not be using 
this year, which is sad. But they're, um, they're carpet spots. So they're kind of like Velcro and they'll stick to your carpet so that students know where to sit. If their bottom is on um, their color or on their dot, they know they're in the right spot. I won't be using these because you can't have a carpet and but the carpet that I did have was like a pretty modern design it was a gray carpet with a modern white design so it didn't have like designated carpet spots it wasn't in squares so that's why I decided to get these so that students will know where to sit on the carpet but when things go back to normal and I get that carpet back then I'll use these so they're still good to have of course I've already been using the ones that I have and they do run out of ink. I wouldn't say fast, I just use them a lot. But one of my must haves, forget the flare pens, forget the ink joys. This is a great pen to have. Now someone did warn me in a teacher group that I'm in on Facebook, they did say that they'll eventually fade. So if you're like grading papers with them and you send them home and it's sitting in the sun, they'll eventually fade. And I will say the lighter colors will not come up in the, on the copier machine but if you're using them for your own personal notes like notes inside of your teacher manuals so you, um, you can erase them whatever I would use it for that Do something else for grading uh, oh these are more hooks but they're clear and little and hooks like this as well the reason I got so many hooks and so many command hooks is because I already knew <laughs> with lack of space I needed to get creative and I know I'm gonna have to utilize a lot of this wall space I'm gonna have to hang things I'm gonna have to hang things inside of my cabinet doors and so I need to be um, in, in my yeah those small cabinets too I need to be creative in the way I store things and the way I hang things because tape is not gonna work. Um, I don't wanna hot glue everything because I don't wanna destroy either my paper or the wall. I'll hot glue some stuff and everything. So I wanna have a variety of choices of command hooks so I won't need them later because I hang things like call passes. I hang things like um, nurse passes. I hang things that um, I will collect my markers in and things like that. So I wanted to get a variety for whatever I may need it for. I also got the doorbell, the infamous doorbell ringer thing that people are using to get the attention of their kids. I'm excited for that because I do do like callbacks, nothing cute. Um, well, I do have one that's cute, I do. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door, point to your teacher, say no more. Cause I like that because it gets their attention they're all pointing, but they're literally quiet while they're doing it. <laughs> it gets them quiet and they don't need to say anything back to me. And sometimes when people, uh, kids chant back to you, you know they get obnoxious, but this they don't get obnoxious because there's nothing to say. So I do like doing that sometimes. I do like the doorbell. I think with my theme of like the farmhouse floral, farmhouse theme, I think it'll make it feel really cozy. So I'm excited for that. And I keep looking up because Above my Promethean board is an outlet. It's not being used for the board. So I'm wondering if I can put my doorbell up there. Instead of like in the back of the room or something where a kid might touch it when I'm not looking. I got these. The book baggies that I wanted, um, I'll insert a picture of what they look like. The book baggies that I wanted was sold out, so I had to um, choose something else. So I chose these bags to use, but books aren't really gonna fit in here. Some might, but they might not. So I might use a gallon bag instead, but because this is durable, Oh, I hope the zipper is durable. But at least this bag feels, the bag part feels durable and waterproof. And there's already a little name tag here. I might use these for like their individual materials. 
because we asked them to bring like zip up um, pencil cases and stuff, but I might use this for individual materials or their math materials if they don't bring in like pencil boxes or if I don't want a pencil box in their desk. Hmm. But I don't know why this doesn't look like I have enough. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, it's on the side. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Well, huh. there's 20 of these, so I might not have enough. That's 25 kits. So I don't know why. Maybe I didn't realize it was a pack of 20. But we'll see. We'll see what I can do with this. I definitely can use it for something. I actually got a call that I have to go because. They're about to spray the room with something or something. So I'm going to continue this haul tomorrow morning. Bye. All right. Well, like I said earlier, I have to leave. It's time for me to go home. I hope you enjoyed day one of this setup. It's been so crazy, so hectic. But stay tuned. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss when I upload day two. Because I'm going to be doing these all the time. So make sure you hit that bell. And I will see you next time.